Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to swap assets in an FLA. So, uh, you know I've been uploading FLA edits and stuff and some of you are wondering how I do it. So, I'm just gonna show you. It's really simple and easy and I hope you will understand. So, I open an FLA here, it's BFB 13 scene 12. Where you can find in the Google Drive that Jack and Jellyfy provided us, I'll link it down below in the description for you. Um, I usually do fit in window to get a picture of how the video will look fully. Let me explain something else uh, to you. As you can see, there's like a frame around it, so that's where that's what you're seeing in the video. Anything outside the frame is not going to be visible. So, with that being said, I'm going to teach you now how to change assets. And it's really, really, really simple. So, let's say you want to do an asset swap video. Or an episode. You can do a full episode if you have the time, you know. Let's say you want to change fries into... Hmm, into a racer. Let's do fries into a racer. So, you can go here in the library, as you can see, and you can find the bodies of every contestant. There's an easier way, though. You can go here and search for it. So, for example, it's through Eraser, and everything Eraser-related is going to show up. You want to find its original body, which is this one right here. So, as you can see, there's a timeline right here. And these are layers. Yep, they're layers. You can lock the layer, so when it's locked, you cannot touch it. Or you can hide it to not say it and stuff. Which you can also not touch if you hide it. So, with that being said, you want to change fries into a racer. What you want to do is go down here, click on the layer, do right click on it, and copy layers. Now, you want to go to fries, so fries, and find its body. As you can see, this one's missing a fry. In our one, it's not, so it's this body right here. And all you have to do is click anywhere in here, in any layer, and you paste layers. So, there's your layer. Now, you can go ahead, play with it. You know, try to match it and stuff. I highly recommend putting it in the bottom here where the legs are supposed to be. Because if you put it above, then the legs are going to be detached and stuff. So, yeah, you can play with it. Let's say something like that. So, now it's going to look like this. It looks good. It, we're not done though. Now, you can go ahead and delete every single layer. Except the one you want, of course. Now it looks like this. As you can see, we have an issue. Eraser, you know, the eyes and mouth and stuff, they're not onto his body. So, what you want to do is click on that, click on Eraser, then click again, click, 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 click. Just click until you find the actual body, which is this again. And then, Select all the layers and move it. So now go back. It looks kind of better. The legs are still not there, but it looks better. So you do it that way instead of going in here and moving it around and hoping it's in place. Because when you do it like that, you can just see for yourself and you know. If you like it or not. Without second guesses and stuff like, oh, am I putting it in the wrong way or right way? So, yeah. Also, this dot, if you put it here 
and rotate it, it will rotate this way. If I put it here and rotate that way, it will rotate that way, etc. You just want to have it in the middle usually, but you can play around with it. So that's how you change the assets. Now, if you want, don't want to do it again and again and again, you can just make a new document file using the shortcut Control M, or you can just simply find it at the top bar right here. So I will go ahead and choose Full HD for this uh, purpose to show you. And now we'll take Fry's body, aka the one we changed to Eraser. We're gonna copy that and paste it here in the new document. That way you can save this document and reopen it if you want to do a separate episode or a separate scene. So you don't have to repeat the steps I just told you. So now, for example, if we revert everything back, hold on, we did a lot. So yeah. By the way, you can do, you can revert everything with Control Z or Z, whatever it's called. So fries is fries again. It's not a racer anymore. We want to make him eraser though. So what you want to do is copy that and do control V or you can just do a right click and paste. Now we will say one or more library items already exist in the document. That's perfectly fine. We just want to replace it. So go ahead and click replace existing items and voila. Fries is eraser again. So that's one way of saving time, if you don't want to copy paste it again and again and again, it really saves me time. I have sprites, of the old assets and stuff. So yeah, I only had to do it uh, manually once to kind of fit them and stuff. Which you also will have to do, by the way, to get it where you want to. But once you have the sprite and you have every character's body right here, you can just copy everything and paste it. Now, for the backgrounds, these ones are trickier. You can't just select the background, delete it, or, excuse me, just delete it and paste another one. Because it will keep changing, changing, changing and stuff as the timeline moves on. So, you want to go right click on the background, show in library. As you can see, right now it's a symbol. This uh, icon right here resembles a symbol. Okay, you want to find the button. So, another one, which is symbol, you don't need that. So, in library again. And here we found the button for the background. Now, for this instance, I'm just gonna add a <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, uh, I guess, banner, whatever it is. It's from a Roblox game. I don't know. So, you want to just actually copy and go back to the timeline and create a new layer. So, now you want to size it where you want to size it. So, uh, let's do that. It's just an example. And delete the previous layers. And now we go back to our scene. As you can see, the background has applied and it's looking weird. It, it's really weird. Again, here you can make a racer or lollipop in this case. Take a part of a racer and eat it. I'm actually gonna do it. It's really easy. So, yeah. Let me go back, find fries. Now, let me get the body we just made. Or not made, like, you know, it's. Popped. Um, paste a new layer. Now here, oops, I deleted the eraser by accident. So here you want to make a little top of eraser, for example, in this scene at least. So you can grab the eraser tool. <laughs> it's so ironic, I know, and just erase it. <laughs> it's so ironic. Oh my god. Also, it's gonna save for auto recovery, so in case, I don't know, it crashes or something, you can just, you know, have an auto recovery. 
So I'm gonna copy it for this uh, example. First, let me delete it nice and fully. There we go. Now, as you can see, as soon as Lollipop takes a fry, a racer is, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, ripped apart, like what you would do with a pestle. But, as you can see, we have a problem. Where did he find the fry? Where did Lollipop find the fry? I mean, C, I'm sorry. So, you want to change the fry into the eraser. Now, we copied it already, so you just want to make a new layer and paste it in the center. As you can see, here's the thing put. You can delete the excess part, and you can just kind of size it to your liking. Make sure it fits the fry, delete the fry, and <laughs> Lollipop actually takes part of eraser and eats it. And now it's also like, you know, chopped again, so we might as well just do that too. Alright, so here's the fry. Alright, delete it. Delete the layers, delete another part of it, so it actually looks like Sol 8 <laughs> eraser, and yes it does, but now we have an issue, it's not attached to Lollipop, so what do we say, it's not you know, where we want it to, go ahead and click it till we find it, then move it. Now it's done on the pop's hand. And she walks away. So yeah. That's kind of what you want to do. And I hope you understood. So yeah guys, that was kind of the tutorial. Um, if you have a question about anything, just comment and I will happily reply to you. As soon as I can, because I'm usually busy, but I will reply eventually. So yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe if you, uh, you know, like what I do. It really helps out and inspires me to continue. So make sure to just like. It just takes a second and that's all I want to see. So yeah, and I will see you next time. Bye.